Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, I got 182,000 kilometers to thank for that. So, as you saw, my key is no longer able to turn onto the start position. So, now I need to replace the ignition lock cylinder. So, yep, this is what we're going to do today. So, let me just get right on it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to remove the negative terminal of the battery. Let me just remove the negative terminal of the battery then we're going to continue with the job. Okay. Now we need to mask this so that it doesn't touch anywhere on the battery now let me think of a plan I'm just gonna put this on here like this we know that nothing is going to give us a problem so i've already checked up the car just to make things easier for me when turning the steering wheel left and right so if you want to you can but this is not necessary but for me i think this is necessary so that i can be able to turn up the wheels left and right so right now what we need to do is to remove this panel when we remove this panel we're going to expose the two t30 screws which are underneath somewhere around here then here so when we're able to remove this panel we're going to be able to find these screws that are underneath here so for me i don't think it's necessary to remove the steering wheel but if things are getting tougher for me then i'll have to remove the steering wheel but i think i can do this without removing the steering wheel if i'm wrong then i'll have to remove it okay we logged Okay, both sides are out. Now what we need to do is to remove the torque screws which is underneath. Now that's what we're going to do. Then we're going to come back to the ones which are at the top right now. This one right here. Right there. This is the screw that we need to take off. So let me just take this off because I'm not able to hold the phone and also take off the screw. So let me just take it off then I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, the screw at the bottom is out. So it turns out that it's not a T30 but a T20. So this is the, the screw on the bottom which holds this panel, this panel. So it's a T20. Now we're going to go on to these screws that are now exposed. I'm not sure if you can see them. This is the first one. It's just in deep there, but the first one is just right here. Oh man, I want you to see everything. So the first one is just right here. This is the first screw and the second screw is just on the same position, but on the other side. So we're going to start with this one. Both the T20 screws are out. Here they are. So let me just try to get on to the next step. So I think the next step will be to remove this panel and drop it down. So after removing this, we'll be exposing all the components which are hidden inside here. So let me just try to remove that. I think I'll need to take off the key. Yes, because as you can see right now, this is now loose. Never really notice what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel the sweat inside my palm. So this is what we need to get onto. This is what we need to get onto. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to remove this yellow clip. The clip is out. Um, the other one, which is inside, you need to pull a tab, then pull the other connector back. You need to pull. There's a red tab that you need to pull out. I'm just not able to see exactly what i'm doing so it's a bit difficult for me but i'm gonna try my best to make sure that i film everything so that if you want to do this you can also do it as as well as i'm doing it uh, it's tab, man. so if this is difficult for me to pull out i think i'm just gonna drop the steering wheel control module and then pull it out when it's outside because right now there's no space okay so after turning the steering wheel the other side you're going to see this torque screw this torque screw is um i don't know i don't want to lie i really don't want to lie this is a torque screw but i don't know the size of the torque screw so luckily i had this other screwdriver which i used to uh, remove screws with on my phone so i think it's going to fit but the size i'm really not sure but the one which you use to fix uh, your phones because mostly the nokia phones have a Torque screw, so this torque screw are removed with this one. So you're going to need to drop this torque screw right here. 
you know it's really small i don't know the size i cannot lie to you i don't know the size now that we're done with this we need to drop this we need to put in a pin in between here and unlock some tabs which are then going to drop the steering wheel control module so let me try to work a way around that so i went ahead and got this set uh, let me just try to see if this set is going to be able to reach to the place that i'm unable to get to So after a long time of fiddling with the steering wheel control module, I finally got it to unlock. So I needed a very long wire to get inside here and then unlock this. But now it's off. So the wire that I was telling you about is this one here, right here at the back. So I need to press here and pull this red tab out. So let me just try to do that. Or even if I don't remove this, I think uh, we're going to be fine because what I need is just here. So I'm thinking I'm not going to remove this because what I need is just here. So let me try to get on that. These are the bolts that I need to drill out. Right here. And the other one is also right there. So the problem with these bolts is that they have nothing on them. They have no they have no head. You have to drill them out. So the other one is just right here. So that's what I'm going to try to drill out. I don't understand the pain of you don't ever want to give me win You don't ever want to stand You know I'm addicted to you I'm the sick of you can gift you with the evil for you Got me coming back from home Even when I can do Dolls full of pain Here's my heart so good after so many long hours of trying to get this out It's finally out So what I did was To cut up this place So that I can create some space Then hit the screw from around here using a flat blade screwdriver then turn it so on the other side what I did was I got my guy who can weld to then help me with welding on here so he welded a 13 millimeter nut on top of the screw which sits on here so he welded a 13 millimeter nut on top of the screw which sits on here then after that he was I was able to turn it because it was welded on so I was holding it with this so if you can see there are some welds here this is a 13 millimeter uh, socket so we were able to then remove it after holding it from there so that's what happened and it took some time it really took some time but it's finally out I cannot lie to you it maybe took about four hours or five hours and it required a lot of thinking so now i'm going to the house to try and fix this okay so now that this is off what i need to do is to remove this i'm not even sure if you can see what i'm doing but also need to remove this then and clip this out The thing is, I cannot turn the key so that I can be able to align these lines and put a paper clip in here, which is one of the things. Okay, final. Like you in my bed, but you okay, me now let me get a paper clip. Everything is like a test. I better not text or I'll come off desperate. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, baby, you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head. The minute I just took this out, I saw this jump out. I saw this jump out. I don't know what it is. I don't think you understand what you're doing. And my heart's black and blue. Damn. If you can look inside, there's this clip that we need to remove. Okay. 
this I feel diluted, my heart's been wounded. This is the set lip that I to come out. Never really noticed what you This comes out I don't ever feel calm. So I this is the first things to get out. This means it's the first things to take in. You don't understand so the thing here. Okay. You don't ever wanna give me wings. You don't ever wanna set me free. So the first to come out of it. See what I say. The page is inside, it's the wrong person. See the things that are falling off. Another thing fell off. So okay guys, so there are some parts I couldn't film because I had to go around, run around looking for some grinders to grind off this part right here. So in order to open up this part here so that you can release this, you need to grind it off. So I had to run around and get a grinder. So I did get a grinder and remember I don't have a car to be running around with. So I did get a grinder. After getting a grinder, I cut this off, then drop this pin and also this spring then dropped it off then this was able to come out so when this was able to come out i was also able to remove i was also able to remove this part then after removing this part i was able to drop things which are inside here then when i was doing that i was able to remove some broken pieces where are those broken pieces i can't find those broken pieces but it was nothing difficult really the difficult part was getting off these screws so this was the difficult part so right now i'm back in the car now i'm going to put everything back together so just to show you whether what i did has worked or not here's a demonstration take the key put it on car on on position start then automatic recoil automatic recoil off remove the key and it locks so look at this the key is on on position the steering unlocks start and now it goes back turn off the key remove it and the steering locks so now we can just put it back together so the first thing i need to do is to hook the steering lock up is to hook this up on this side okay first thing uh I need to connect this back on this switch put the switch back clicks then we are good <laughs> the other side is in the other side is on as well now what i need to do is to bolt it up so these are the bolts that i'm going to use these are 13 millimeter bolts with a washer which have been cut onto the same size as the ones which are on the car so for future uses these are going to be easier for me then we are going to be good to go now this is me trying to tighten things up with that 13 millimeter ball mm. the other one is already in so at least for future uses and future purposes if i need to remove this i know i'm not going to have a struggle like i did now I'm not going to lie to you, this was a difficult job guys, so if you are going to do it, please make sure that you need every tool that you can have, because you are going to struggle if that's not the case. I think everything is tight now. Now we are tight. So, yeah, the new bolt, as you can see, it's a 13mm bolt. And the other one as well, 13 millimeter ball. Now let me put back the steering wheel control module. We're gonna need to start by plugging this onto the back. 
so let me plug this back on then push back the red tab everything is in push the yellow connector in Then that's it. Now what I need to do is to try and pull the steering angle controller on in here. So, like I said, I was gonna do this job without removing the the steering wheel, and I've done that. So, something I'm very happy about. Okay. The rear side is clicked on. I think everything is fine. Yeah. Now everything is fine. Now what I need to put back is the T8 top screw. This one right here is the one that I need to take back. Now. Start. Start. Then off. Remove the key. Turn. Start. Off. Remove the key. So now let me plug on the battery then see whether we're able to get anything out of the car. For a moment of truth. Hey! Okay, let me try to start up the car. We are good, we are good, we are good to go. So everything worked. So now we can put everything back together because we shall. Yes, baby! This cover needs to go underneath here. Top cover has some has some two tabs right here and right here, which needs to ride on top of this plastic. Before you can okay, they did. Now everything is back on. Then this top cover needs to go on to these clips. There are some clips which it goes on to. It needs to clip onto this. And also the other one needs to clip on here. It needs to go onto this clip. There's the same clip on the other side. I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but it needs to go in here. Then the top one, this one, goes in here. So let me just line those up. now that's it so i didn't have to remove the steering wheel i didn't have to pay anyone i didn't have to buy a new ignition lock cylinder so that's the job well done now let me just adjust the the driving position and the steering wheel oh sorry sorry about that so if you've been watching this video thank you guys so much for watching the video and i appreciate it a lot so that's how you can replace an ignition lock cylinder without buying a new one because even if you buy a new one the same pin that broke inside of mine is just going to break again so why don't you just open it up and remove the broken one and then put back everything together then you can just go on because for me buying a new one was just a waste of money that i can just use towards something else so thank you guys so much for watching the video i appreciate it so much so until next time, we out. I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face. And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place. Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way. So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay.